Hey everybody, we are down at Point Defiance. Uh, we're you know, heading out from Owen Beach. Um, doing sort of a beach stroll. There's a lot of Point Defiance, I've done some stuff out here before. Uh, video where we're doing the trails up the hill. Uh, but today we're doing around the point at beach level. And here, there's the beach. See actually there's the Vashon Island Ferry coming into dock over there. Looks like got some sailing boats and some fishing boats and stuff out today. I think I'll show up out there. And there's Bonnie. So we were supposed to have a group. We were doing this meetup group today, but so it's a, we got a little bit of light rain right now, but it's kind of scared everybody off. So I don't know. Oh well, they're lost. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna kind of wander around. Now on the other side of the point, on the Narrows Bridge side, now that's Vashon Island back there. So on the other side. Um, there's actually a town, or I don't know if you want to call it, but a, a neighborhood, Salmon Beach it's called. All the houses are up on stilts at the water's edge um, over high tide mark and stuff. Um, there's a spot where if the tide is low enough and we're still low enough when we get there, we might be able to get across and take that way and come through the park on the way back. Otherwise, it'll be there and back, um, about three miles there, three miles back. If we do a loop, it'll probably be closer to five miles. So we'll see what happens when we get there. Um, yeah, it would be nice if it was a uh, sunny day out, but I don't know, something might be on the water with the fog out there. You see the, the, uh, like the shipping boats out there and sailboats and stuff. So yeah, um, I'm a little curious because right now we have absolutely no wind. We're on the one side of the point. It's gonna be interesting to see how it's like on the south side of the point. We're on the north side right now. So. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll see what, it, see what it's like when we get there. Probably going to be a lot of like scrambling over um, down, downfall and stuff like that here and there. Um, but it's low tide is coming up in about half hour or so maybe. 45 minutes. So it'll be kind of fun to see what we see along the beach on the way. Alright, we'll check in a bit later. So I don't know what kind of seaweed, kelp, or whatever this is, here I need to focus, but you can see it kind of attaches itself to the rock. And it actually can pick up the rock just based on it. There's another one here. So yeah, they just kind of grab on to the rocks. That's kind of just have to do some research into this and figure out what it is. So it's about uh, 5 to 11 and t uh, checked low tides at 11.20, so, but just kind of even an idea. So here's a tree with some barnacles and stuff on it. So this is how low of a tide we're at right now. Um, I'm just under, I'm about 5.11, 5.10, well, these boots probably 5.11. So we're about 6 feet above, or below, high tide. And you can actually see from the where the rocks end up there is kind of where uh, high tide will come up to. We got plenty of time before that hits us, so uh, we should be fine, but making it out, even if we had to go out and come back. Um, and I forgot to check exactly how low the tide is, but it's under a foot, I believe. So, you can see some of the, oh, what are those? Those are pigeon guillemot burrows. Pigeon guillemot burrows. I don't know if you can see the holes up in the rock. Sort of mud face up there. So that's how the trail that I've done before is way up, follows up along there somewhere. Uh, there's one other spot up here where we can, where you could get up to there, although I believe part of it's been washed out so they have it closed right now. Looking through the islands up there, it's kind of cool. So that's Gig Harbor back that way. You just need to pair this up with the other video and kind of compare Island the different views. Right yep, that's Vashon Island right across from us. There's some sort of freighter over that way. A few other people walking along the beach today. Um, we're not the first ones out here by far. Uh, it's kind of fun. It's the first time we've had actually to pull the rain gear out for a little while. Um, <laughs> it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of misting out. Hopefully it stays like this. I'll be fine with that. So, all right, we'll check in again in a little while. Oh, I think I missed it again. But so this is about where I was a few years ago where I saw some orca. And then I just looked up, we were looking at some 
fun- the seaweeds and stuff, I looked up and saw a seal dive under, and it just surfaced back up over there, and I think I just missed it. Uh, pretty good size one, though. Looked like it was probably a good 40 pounds or so. A few different birds and stuff out. So that was our first wildlife sighting of the day, other than birds. There's at least three. All right, so I can kind of see there's two over there. You can just kind of see their heads up. Right there. There's another one that's out there that just dove under. So sorry I didn't get better image of them, but we have our wildlife seal sighting for the day. There he just dove under. Both of them just dove under. Oh. Weird rock area on the beach. There's no sand, none of the gravel. It's, and it's this, I mean, I'm assuming it's volcanic rock at some point, but it's got these like little rows and ripples from, I don't know if it's from erosion or the way it was formed. It's a little slippery. It's like walking on the moon without the dust. Kind of extends this whole, so we're almost actually to, Tip of the point already. Well, kind of. I mean, the, the tip itself is kind of wide as well. And then, of course, there's the sandstone facades over here that people have done stuff to. Hey, here's a jelly or something. Oh, cool! Some sort of. It's opening and shutting right oh, here. Oh, I see an enemy. So these, I bet you these holes probably came from like just rocks spinning around in here in the tides. Yeah, there's a few other different enemies and stuff. Um, like little potholes. There's a, a lot of areas around the St. Croix River in Minnesota, like around uh, Taylor's Falls area where they there's one they call the Devil's Pothole and stuff. They're made from as water and stuff was receding, oh, yeah. rocks spinning in the that make them do that. Oh yeah. And there's an open one. It's like in a a lot bunch of, of little, little pockets. Something in that one there. They're not stepping in. That one's really cool. Another one there with some rocks on it. So cool. I don't know if do these count as wildlife sightings? They're wild. Yes, it's life. They do. A whole bunch of them. All these little holes have a whole bunch of them, different little things in them. And we're not even made it for one mile yet. Well, seagulls keep following us. Yeah, we're being followed by a couple of seagulls. Maybe they think we're going to feed them. Sorry, guys. Didn't bring anything for you. Stick your finger in there. <laughs> okay, we'll like flick a piece of water out. Didn't respond. I wonder if that's just an anemone of some kind. Okay, like, so there's this one here. Okay, I'm gonna get something to just gently touch it. Um. There's that the one problem there. out here is there's nothing. See, this one here is opening and closing. I mean, that's just the weirdest. And there's another one with little tendrils there. Okay, I'm gonna come get a little piece of shell. A couple of little ones right there. Let's see what that one does. It's gently. Because it totally went way under. Oh, well, maybe it's just a minute. Huh. Because earlier it was totally like out of the ground though. Well, oh, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> Don't want to bother them. Light. Yeah. Too many reflections. So much light around here, yeah. Insane. And like this thing has hundreds.
hundreds of those pink and green anemones right here. One that's more exposed and it's got like a weird Modern patterning on the yeah. top on the outside. Oh, and that one looks like it's live attached. Well, of course, everything's live. This almost looks like they're poop. <laughs> All right, so we're seeing another seal. There's the head. I don't know how. Oh, I do think I just saw something like a clam or something spitting water up. Well, yes, yeah, so you right along here, there's a couple of spots where something was spitting water up. Now oh, the seal just dove under. Oh, it's these, it's these bicusp things, it's these bivalve things. Two things. I just saw a stream of water shooting Shoot. up. Okay. I wonder if they are some kind of clam. But I would think this is too hard of, I mean, this is rock. I don't know how they would have gotten in there. All right, so hopefully maybe we'll get a chance to see that little seal again. Wow, this right here is a stream drop off. Like you can just see, like right if you were to oh, yeah. off right there, that's probably right. Like so this is probably why the seals like it here. I mean, this is like a, just a sheer feet. drop. All right, Mr. Seal, where'd you go? Probably down there feeding. So we've been dawdling. Um, checking out the sea anemones, some we saw another seal, uh, but we're at the kind of a portion here that if we don't cross over to Salmon Beach to get across the point to back to where we started, we're gonna have to hightail it back because that's about almost quarter to 12 now. I think high tide is coming back in. High tide is not until 5:45, but you can see this whole area. By high tide, all the way up to there is going to be underwater. So, but we got movie tickets, so we got to be out of here well before then, anyway. So, um, so yeah. Here, there's the Narrows Bridge. Back that way. So, all right. So, there's doesn't look like there's much to see. There's going to be just more about trekking and getting around all these rocks and stuff. So, we will check in in a little while. Take pictures. This is just these rocks here are just covered. Hundreds of them off. I keep wanting to be careful where I step because I don't want to squish them. Look at them. And even in the sand, too. But in the water, it's not like they're opening up yet. A little bit more, but not too much. Even that one's totally underwater. Oh my god! Just dozens of. All these rocks are just covered. Yeah, and we're gonna be squishing the enemies to get through there. A uh, tree branch like graveyard or something. It's like these branches, they just slowly get sucked into the sand over time. The sand's kind of soft. You can feel it shifting under your feet. So I suppose as the tide swirls around it, um, I don't know if you've ever just planted your feet in the sand as the tide comes in, the waves come in, it kind of sucks the sand out from under your feet a little bit and you kind of sink. And I suppose that's probably what happened with those branches. So there's the uh, Narrows Bridge. Over there, that's Salmon Beach. It's a little housing community that uh, has some interesting history. You have to park up a ways the hill and carry everything down. Um, the house has just kind of sprung up over the years, I guess, and um, yeah, it's kind of an interesting little community over there. They're all up on stilts above high tide level. 
we may cross over and take a look a little bit. We'll see what it's like when we get to the, there's like a little rock outcropping that, depending on how high the tides come up. We're about a mile from there yet. So we'll see uh, there shortly. So we're almost to Salmon Beach. And so when I was here, so tides are really, I don't know a whole lot about tides, but you have a couple of different low tides and high tides in a cycle. Now you have your lowest low tide, which today was 0.78 feet. High tide is, I forget, but, um, but you also have another low tide that'll come after this later tonight that's not all the way as low as it is now. In fact, when I was here last year, we had to go around this rock up here because the water was above this flat area. And it was kind of interesting. Um, I did, we, I mean, it was fine getting across, and actually it's not even this rock here, it's another rock further up, similar to this, I guess. Um, but it was kind of interesting because I got all the way across just fine, holding on to some tree branches and stuff. Got promptly across, and then wiped out on the rocks and scratched up my leg. So, yeah. So that was fun. That was right at the start of the hike, so I had, to, had a bandana with that I cleaned up with and wrapped it. And... Yes. Uh, yes, I know. From last year when I was here, these rocks were very slippery. So, yeah. So this area up here is where we had to traverse across. And it looks like the trees that were there have been cleaned up. So... Now, I'm not going to take a lot of video once we get over by Salmon Beach, but I want to get a little bit of this so you guys can see what it's like. Because I don't want to, you know, it's privacy over there. Um, private homes. But see how they're... Let me zoom in. They're up on the pilings above the high water mark. So it's just, I don't know, there's a couple of dozen homes or so over there, different sizes. Um, and then over there is the Narrows Bridge. So they got a wonderful view. Uh, pluses and minuses to live in there, I guess. The minus is that you got to walk all everything all the way down the hill. I hate to be moving furniture. I mean, they've got a long sloping hill and from what I understand they have some carts and stuff. Hey, I think that's the rock I slipped on. No, I don't know. Actually, there's a lot more sand here than there was when I was here last time. But it was right in this area that I wiped out. And this was the rock I think that we ended up, yeah, I think. Yep, so this is the one we had to go across so that greenish area of the water was up above there. So it was too deep to just wade across at that point. And we used to kind of hung on those roots as we kind of went across. But there was a lot more of them last time. And that's where we came from. So I think we are going to just kind of take, not that we, you know, couldn't do the miles and get back. There's one choke point up there that uh, if we dawdled too long, would make it a little difficult to get through. But it um, be nice to get a little change of scenery and get up in the forest area for a bit. So, yeah. Enjoy some views of the Narrows. And some sail, a lot of sailboats out today. It's just a light breeze, even on this side. Breeze, a little more breeze than there was on the north side of the point, but not much at all. It's been really nice out. In fact, I took my rain pants off because I was getting too warm. I'm ready to do the jacket as well. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some pictures to share, and uh, I will check in with you guys later. All right, so we're up out of the way. I'm not really worried about treating anybody's privacy, but you can see some of the houses there. There's about 40 or so down there total. Beautiful waterfront views different sizes, a couple of really huge ones. So there's uh, one down there for sale, if anybody's interested. Two bedroom, one bath, just under 1,300 square feet for only $375,000. Sorry, I didn't get the realtor's name, but I'm sure you can probably find it online. Alright, so we've left the beach a ways back, kind of trips through the woods a bit, and now we're up behind Fort Nisqually, coming back to one of the regular trails. That's the interpretive center stuff up there. One of these days I might actually come in and actually go in there. We'll see. They do some different events there. Maybe find some time when they're doing a nice event. So the trail we want that I usually take that I took last time I did a video out here is just up ahead of us a little bit. So we're going to catch that back to the beach. 
All right, so we are down on, I don't know, it's not really a boardwalk because it's concrete. Kind of cool though, they got little stuff stamped in the concrete in there, little sayings and designs. Um, so we're back, almost to back to our starting point at Owens Beach. We're gonna, I think we just hit five miles. So kind of what we expected was taking the uh, loop rather than out along the beach and back along the beach. Saw a pileated woodpecker, saw um, a squirrel. Which actually is really weird. It's really weird for me from being from Minnesota where you just see squirrels everywhere. Um, just don't see a lot of squirrels out here. So it was a really big gray squirrel. Um, just kind of stood on the tree or hung on the tree trunk and stared us down for a little while. We got a couple of pictures. Um, but yeah, we're almost back to the beach. Let's see if I can steal some boats. Oh, there's the ferry going out to Bashan Island. A lot more people out here on the beach now. Well, not a lot, I mean, there's a lot more than there was this morning. Um, people out doing stuff, so it's, the rain has kinda never really got much more than a little drizzle, so that's nice. And made for a really nice day. I mean, I, I ended up taking all my rain gear off because it was just getting too warm. So, um, yeah, don't let the forecast scare you off. Way hi, Bonnie. Don't let the forecast scare you off from getting out and enjoying the outdoors. That is today's lesson. Because definitely. Oh, it's just a, I thought it was going to be a plane. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they got, that's that little, like the guy with the big oars, the long oars, it looks like. Yeah, so there's some people getting out and do some boating and stuff out here. So, yeah. All right, well, thanks for taking along, everybody. We will, see, we're going to head out and go see the Avengers. So, we will see you guys on the trail next time. <laughs> Bye now.